You've been watching these developments, the succession plan itself, unsurprising. Is this the continuity candidate? Yeah, he absolutely is. He's another policy wonk uh, like Yi Gong, uh, has a, a career banking background. Uh, he was also, you know, a, a visiting uh, professor, I believe, at, at Harvard and Cambridge. He has international experience. He's well regarded both internationally and domestic, and he has that commercial banking expertise. Uh, and, uh, you know, it is a continuity candidate. And it's interesting that he will be taking over as the party chief while Yi Gong still is the governor. We're hearing rumblings that perhaps the top leadership wants to consolidate that role back into a dual role, one individual being the party chief as well as the governor, like what we had from 2002 to 2018 with Zhou Shaochuan. He was both party chief and the governor, the longest serving governor of the PBOC uh, to date. Uh, and uh, again, it doesn't necessarily uh, you know, mean that Yi Gong and also the outgoing party Party chief Guo Shuqing didn't do their job. They're just simply at retirement age. Yi Gong is 65, Guo Shuqing is 66. This gentleman, Pan Gongsheng, is relatively young. He's 59. Uh, so he has a few more years. Uh, and, and again, the interesting part about this, though, as we all know that Xi Jinping, as he consolidated his power at the Party Congress in October uh, and November, essentially wants to put more party control over some of these state organs. Keep in mind, the PBOC reports directly into the state council, which is obviously run by Li Qiang, the premier. Now, again, PBOC is not independent from the government and from the party. They have to take their cues from party leadership. The interesting thing about Pan Gongsheng is back in the party reshuffle in, uh, at the Party Congress last autumn, he was left out of the 200-member standing committee. Guo Shuqing, the man he's replacing as the party chief of the PBOC, was a central committee member. So Pan Gongsheng, not a top party leader. So what does that mean? Does that mean the PBOC, if indeed Pan Gongsheng takes over in the dual role as governor and party chief, will the PBOC have less of a role, less of a say uh, going forward as far as economic policy? Let's talk a little bit about economic policy, right? I mean, you continue to say the word continuity. Does that mean perhaps more targeted lending and not necessarily the sort of massive monetary stimulus that markets have been waiting for? You know, this was a topic that we spoke about all week at the World Economic Forum down in Tianjin. I heard Zhu Min, who is the former deputy governor of the PBOC, former deputy managing director of the IMF. On Friday, he was on a panel and he says, look, Stop thinking about massive stimulus. It's not going to happen, in his estimation. He's at Tsinghua University now. He's not in the government. But he is essentially saying China has very high debt already. We also heard on the sidelines of the World Economic Forum, uh, the London School of Economics professor Ke Yu Jin says, there is enough room for stimulus, but the problem is that you need a massive stimulus in the millions, trillions of renminbi to have even a moderate effect on the economy. Keep in mind, Pan Gongsheng is, uh, you know, the architect, if you will. He's credited with doing the three red lines on the property sector. So he could do something to perhaps lower the cost for mortgages and give some stimulus to build up the property sector. But the yuan, that's an interesting one. It's at, as Annabelle said, nearing a 15-year low. Pan Gongsheng is the head of the State Administration of Foreign Exchange. Safe. But what can he do, really, to stem the fall of the remedy, other than maybe continue to use the tools at hand, and that is daily, stronger daily fixings, fixings perhaps.